now that we've discussed the previous workflow, the beginning of it, we're going to start actually doing it. We chose the images, and now I'm going to switch to Photoshop and start a new file. File, new. We choose the parameters of film and video, which is very convenient to use. In this case, I'll go for a PAL widescreen. You can, of course, choose whatever is the, your uh, film's definitions. Okay. I'm going to zoom out a little to see the whole, my whole canvas and my whole frame. And as you can see, it already comes with borders. And now I'm going to open the image I'm going to use, which is a man, a woman, who, as you see, are in different images, and the kitchen. Let's open it all up. And I will just very quickly and very easily cut. I'm, I only need the woman from the waist up. I'm going to show uh, her looking at a guy that stands with his back to the camera. Okay, so I'll very quickly cut my image and just make sure that you uh, that I'm yeah that you close the uh, that you close the circle when you see the small circle of the lasso appears and then edit copy going here edit paste or like many of you probably know control C control V now I will press control T to increase enlarge my image yeah that's that's a good a good position for me I will do the same thing with the guy now it's it's rather clear he's standing with his back she's looking at he, at him and the last thing is to bring the kitchen frame so control A or select all select all edit copy edit paste I will drag the kitchen uh, picture underneath so it would look like the background and I will play with the size until I'm I'm pretty happy with how it looks and then I'll press OK you can name your layers if you have several layers it will be make your job easier so I call them kitchen woman and men and I can uh, if the background is a little too noisy for my taste I will just down decrease the opacity yeah and now it's clear where it happens and also uh, that this is the background and is not as important as the figures in the foreground and I will go to SketchUp Pro or SketchUp, you can download it for free, the basic version. And I will go for File, 3D Warehouse, Get Models. I have a huge amount of free models I can use. And I will write down Toaster. Okay, you see I, I have a variety of Toaster I can choose from. This one is fine for me. I can also check it out, see if it's appropriate for what I need by pressing 3D view and just turning this around. Is this fine? Yeah, it's fine. Download model. It asks me if to load it directly to Google SketchUp and I say yes. Waiting for it to upload or download. And the good thing in the SketchUp or any that it's a very simple 3D software and I can choose my angle the right the exact angle the right angle I need which is sometimes you know it you'll have to go through a lot of photos till you find exactly the right angle and exactly the right model uh, so the Google SketchUp really makes our job easier in that sense and I can turn this around by pressing the middle button in the mouse and I can uh, bring it closer or making it go uh, distant by rolling the mouse roller. Yeah, this is a good version. 
And now I will just export it as a 2D graphic. 